Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you some of the housekeeping commands of R. So housekeeping commands are something like uh, for doing the housekeeping stuff where you want to maybe clean this entire area once you have entered so many commands. Uh, then you may want to clean it then we will see how you can do that. We will look at how you can remove uh, or search certain kind of objects that you have created previously. And uh, these kind of things I will show uh, how you can do it into the R. So the first thing is uh, about uh, how you can clean up this entire area which we performed in this uh, in this window in the last video which I have shown. So for this I will just clean up by entering the command control L. So I will hold the control key and press L word. I will just need to activate this control L and once I have pressed the control plus L my entire area is being cleaned so that I can now start writing the new commands. So it is sometimes helpful when you are shifted shifting from one work to another and you want to clear up the space for the new work. So it is good to remember the command control plus L within the windows to clean up this console area. Now let's go ahead and uh, see how you can view all the objects that you have created. So for that we have a command called ls which is list basically. It, it is something like list of all objects uh, if you want to describe it. ls list of all objects it will show all the objects that I have created here in this R environment. So if I want to search so uh, search a particular object then I can do that by entering uh, its argument called pattern. So it is useful because uh, it may be the case that you have thousands of objects in your art studio and uh, you just want to have something uh, a word which is start starting with some character or there are two words like starting and ending and in between uh, it can be any word and you want to find that kind of an object. So how you can do that? Let's go ahead and see this. So let me search anything which is having the letter, uh, let's say um, P, P for parrot. So I will enter pattern and its argument pattern is equals to within a single quotation. I will enter the word P, small p, and press enter. So yeah, I have entered an incorrect argument. It should be patterned with single P. That's why it has given me the error. And once I enter this again with the right argument name, it is giving me all the objects which is having the word P. Now after this, if you have multiple words, let's say P E, then I will get that information. So now all of those objects which has the word uh, after this, if I have a, a condition uh, where or if I have a requirement where I want to get all of those objects which are starting with uh, let's say letter uh, T, T for tomato. So I will go ahead and use this last command and I will enter this cap and enter word T and press enter. In this way you can see uh, I have now all the objects which are starting with T right after this if you have a requirement that uh, you want to find those objects that are ending with T then you can use the dollar sign in a state and figure it out so there is nothing that's why it has given us zero but hold on uh, we have something like weight as an object so it should have replied us or given us this result so that means there is some issue with how we are entering the command and I think I have used the reverse or uh, value how I should have entered it is something like T and dollar so let's enter this now it is giving us correct result so sometimes because you interact with so many commands uh, it may be the case that you forget uh, how to specify the value and you may not get the correct value so it is always advisable like how I have seen over here that weight is having T then it should have given me this information. So I just quickly went back and thought okay 
I have not given us a proper value to give me the result. So in this case, T dollar is the right word and now I have all those objects which are ending with T. Now let's go ahead and see uh, the last one, the last pattern that I have. So a pattern where I want to specify anything between A and P. So give me those words which has letters A and P and anything between that. So here is here are those words. So this is all samples A and P is coming and then bar plot A and P is coming over here. So all of these objects which has A, P and it there can be anything between A and P have been specified with the dot or period. So these are few of the examples of how you can do a search of objects uh, within the R Studio when you have thousands of objects. This is very helpful. Uh, now let's quickly see how you can remove the objects. So like the ls command which we entered earlier, it has given us all the objects, right? Because we have not specified any pattern as an argument. After this, if I want to remove the objects, I can specify rm command that that can be considered as remove the objects. So rm is nothing but remove. This will going to remove everything. So I will not hit enter and you should always always cautious about uh, uh, before entering this command because it will going to remove everything. But uh, in this case, I will just go ahead and use this pattern here again in the remove command to remove some of the uh, objects from, from my uh, workspace. So let's go ahead and apply some of the patterns. Before we apply pattern, one quick thing to understand that RM takes an argument of list. That means a list of object. So this is just a, a additional note uh, before you start adding the pattern. So now let's go ahead and uh, start the start adding the pattern. So list, let's say list is equals to ls and we will use the above mentioned pattern pattern is equals to and within the quotation let's say a dot p. So now this will going to remove everything uh, that is in there or the, these all these objects which has the letter a and p. As I hit enter, now if I enter the command ls pattern to show all those objects which has this letter a and p, I will not find anything. Now all these objects which I had created earlier is now removed. So that you can do that. Apart from this, uh, there is, now let's go ahead and apply another pattern just for, for an example. So I will enter rm command, just activate this rm and uh, I will going to enter list is equals to ls and then I will say pattern is equals to pe. So here is the one which I have entered. So this is an another example. I will hit enter and it has removed all those objects which was here and uh, had the word pe. Now if I need if I will try to see those words by entering the ls command double t on pattern is equals to pe then I will not be able to see anything. So this is how you can see uh, how we can view all of those objects as per our requirement or remove those things uh, which is according to our pattern or our requirement by specifying this pattern logic. So these are few of the uh, housekeeping commands I would like to show you uh, which I showed you here over here and I will meet you in the new video, the new topic.